Parks on Barter. Okay, uh, my name is Dylan Real. I'm the philanthropy chair of Tau Kappa Epsilon, Epsilon Kappa here at Loyola University in Chicago. I'm the uh, philanthropy chair, and uh, today we're hosting our event called Crafts for Kids. Can you explain what uh, what Crafts for Kids is? Crafts for Kids is, is uh, we we essentially set up here in our student center, and uh, we have kids walking by, students walking by. They set up. We were set up, and they'll come in and they'll uh, make cards uh, for the kids of St. Jude's, and then they'll have cards to open up on Christmas. Can you explain your, the relationship between Teak and St. Jude? Oh, so uh, St. Jude's is our national philanthropy. Uh, we raised a ton of money for them. Last year our chapter raised $20,000 for uh, St. Jude's Children's Hospital. So St. Jude's is what we uh, do most of our philanthropy events around. You know, we try and help out around the campus, but at the end of the day, St. Jude's is where we, uh, we spend most of our efforts and money. Cool. Uh, so can you explain a little bit more about Crafts for Kids? How long has it been, go how long has it been going on for? Yeah, so this is our, this is our second year of Crafts for Kids. Uh, we started at 10 o'clock this morning. And uh, we're winding down, it's over at four. Uh, but uh, yeah, our, the goal this year is to make 500 cards. Last year we had like 250, 260. So you know, we're trying to double this year. Okay, cool. Um, and are you, I remember, I remember going to the event last year. Uh, are you donating, do you also offer donations for this one? Like you had like little red ribbons that said St. Yeah, Jude Yeah, yeah, so we did that last year and we found that it didn't really work. You know, we, raised, we were still able to raise $20,000 for St. Jude's. And uh, we, we decided that we would focus our money efforts, uh, focus on getting funds uh, in our event in the fall or the, the spring, and then this event just be a big publicity thing, uh, just getting people out. You know, uh, making cards isn't really a big thing. We're not asking for money. We're just you know asking people to stop by and just make a card for us. So it seems like you guys have a lot of fundraising events going on throughout a lot of the of just the fall and stuff. Yeah, yeah, I wouldn't say we have a lot of fundraising events, but we definitely do have a lot of philanthropy events. Uh, last week we co-sponsored a philanthropy event with uh, Phi Sig here at uh, Loyola University. Uh, they did a, a thing about women and exercising, and we, uh, we co-sponsored that. Uh, next week we're co-sponsoring with uh, Alpha Chi Omega. We're co-sponsoring an event that uh, uh, it's about sexual assault and awareness for women. Uh, so yeah, uh, philanthropy is a big thing, uh, especially here in Chicago. So we like to focus our, our efforts around the philanthropy and that side of it, rather than you know getting hung up on the whole Greek life thing. Uh, philanthropy is definitely what we focus a lot on. Has your work paid off? Do you think? Oh, absolutely. Uh, I, we get we get stuff from St. Jude's all the time, thanking us. Uh, we're, we're one of the smallest teak chapters, and we were able to raise uh, up there at the big guys like West Virginia, and we're able to keep up. And for us to be able to say that is just incredible. Uh, at the end of the night last year at uh, at our event, Jokes for Jude's, we had uh, the we had people come out from St. Jude Children's Hospital, and they uh, they came up, they hugged us, and thanked us for coming out. Uh, it's just very emotional, very. You know, I'm glad we can do something, you know, that's bigger than just our, our chapter. Do something to give back to the, the kids. I think it's reasonable to assume then that you've been noticed by nationals. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Uh, I started off this year, it's my second semester as philanthropy chair, and I started off with an email asking about when we're starting again and what, uh, what events we'll be doing. But uh, they wanted us to raise the bar, look at uh, the scheme of things over five years, raise $100,000, which is uh, what our chapter is striving to do. Okay, so you just mentioned one part of your future endeavors. Uh, can, right. you, can you describe in any more detail your the future endeavors in terms of philanthropy and service? And oh, stuff? yeah. Actually, we, we just set the dates and got the contract signed for uh, this spring. We'll be having, uh, did you come out for Jokes for Jude's? I was, I was notified of it last year, but I didn't go. So you're having it again? Yeah, yeah. So what, what Jokes for Jude's is we, uh, we got Second City to come to Loyola. They performed in one of our theaters. and. Uh, their tickets are only around 50 bucks a pop, and we got them down to $15. Uh, we ended up raising like $8,000 just from that event, and then we got a $10,000 donation coming in from the outside. So we were able to uh, to really capitalize with Second City. Um, this year we're going to have one of Loyola's improv groups open for them, but we're doing the same exact event and with uh, with the same people. Hopefully they, they bring their A game as they did last year. All right, cool. Uh, do you have any uh, relations with the alumni to help you out with your philanthropy and service events? Yeah, yeah. So we uh, we have an alumni. His name is Rich Carbonara. 
he came out to all of it. Uh, he's an attorney here in town, so he's busy, but uh, he was here for most of it. Uh, our chapter advisor, Rich, he was there. He came out to most of it. Uh, ben Anderson, our other chapter advisor, he came to everything. So yeah, our, our alumni relations are pretty good. Uh, they, they donated some money, so that was good. All right, uh, Dylan, thank you, man, for your time. Yeah, no problem. Thank you. Thank